Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth part of this four part video series on Toolkit for YNAB. So let's break that down really quickly. Toolkit is a browser extension. As you can see here on the screen, it works, it's available for Chrome and for Firefox, but not for Safari. And the Toolkit is a plugin designed for users of YNAB, which is software, budgeting software. YNAB stands for You Need a Budget. If you're not familiar with uh, what a browser plugin is, or if you're not a YNAB user yet, then you're a little bit ahead of yourself. You're not quite in the right place yet, but when you are, when you're ready for this information, I hope you'll come back and I hope you find this information here helpful. So in my demo, I'm using Firefox and I have the browser plugin already installed and you can see it when you have it installed too, it shows up up here in your toolbar is a green square with a little white plus sign in it. And if you hover over that icon, it says toolkit for YNAB. So in order to access the toolkit, make the changes to the settings that you want to see happen, then you click on that little icon. It opens up this pop-up and then you simply click on open settings. So this is the fourth video of a four part series. In my first video, I ran through all of the settings in the general settings tab. In my second video, we looked at all of the account screen settings. The third video covered all the budget screen settings. And today, the fourth video, we're looking at the reports screen settings, all three available settings. So if you stuck with me to my earlier videos, you know that those earlier videos covered a lot more than three settings. So today should be quick and easy. Okay, in order to choose settings, turn some on, turn some off, the ones that you want to use, you simply click on the words on and off to turn these on or off, and then you click on save. Now that saves the settings in the toolkit, but the ch changes haven't happened yet in YNAB. In order to do that, you just jump over here into your YNAB tab, the browser window that has YNAB open in it. And in order to see these changes take place, then you click on the refresh icon over here, refresh your browser window. Once you refresh, then those changes have taken effect in YNAB. Before we dig into our three settings, one other point of clarification. This screen, these three settings, talking specifically about making changes to the YNAB reports. YNAB reports are different from the setting available in the general tabs, in the general, in the general settings. Right, so this general tab, general settings, there is an option here called toolkit reports. We are not talking about the toolkit reports. We're talking about toolkit settings that affect the default YNAB reports. So we have just three to work through. Let's dig right in. The first option is the compact income versus expense. And this is talking about the income versus expense report in the YNAB reports. In fact, all three of these settings are looking at this one report, the income versus expense report. So this one is talking about a compact view and the YNAB report, the income versus expense report is a pretty poor use of space. It's quite spread out. And once we, my demo data only covers two months so far, March and April. But if you're looking at an entire year's worth of data, that's 12 columns plus your average and your total columns. So you'll eventually have 14 columns for every year in this income versus expense report. And with this poor use of space, that report gets a little unwieldy. You have a lot of vertical scrolling already, but when you have 14 columns, you're gonna have quite a bit of horizontal scrolling as well. But if we turn on this setting in the toolkit and then implement that change in YNAB, you'll see that we get a much more condensed view, a compact view. And so we're going to end up having quite a bit less scrolling, both 
vertically and horizontally once we have an entire year's worth of data in here. Okay, the next setting is highlight income versus expense row on hover. So that is talking about all of these rows in this income versus expense report. And you can see that if I hover over any one of these rows, category names, nothing happens. But turning this set on, this setting on in the toolkit and then refreshing our YNAB tab, now we come in here and we hover and you can see we get a hover color. So we can see, if, especially when we have multiple columns, we get into further into the year or the entire year and we have 14 columns and we have a lot of horizontal scrolling, you'll be able to see by hovering over this row, you'll be able to see across multiple columns which specific category it is that you're looking at. It's a visual cue. Now this setting can be used in conjunction with the earlier setting so that you can have the hover and that more condensed view at the same time. So you still get this visual cue of this colored row that you're hovering over and everything more condensed into uh, an easier to manage screen. Okay, that's the first two down. Let's cover the third one. It is view zero as empty. What that is looking at here is these, these cells, right? So we have the row and the column, any place in there that cell is when it's zero, you get this really light gray text that says has a dollar sign or your currency sign 0.00. .00. And you can turn that setting on if you prefer a cleaner look. And that gets rid of any text at all, no matter how light, in those empty cells. Now you will notice that there are a few light gray 0.00s left. But you'll notice, please, that those are in these subtotal rows. So here we have a couple but the cells themselves are, are empty. It's only that we get the 0.00 in the row, in the column subtotal. And just like all of the other settings, but here it's a little clearer because you're looking at just one screen, one report, and three simple options. But it's easy to see now that you could combine all three of those together and have a more compact view with a colored row on hover and the zeros in the individual cells are empty, leaving only zeros when we have a subtotal that is zero. And that, folks, is the end. All three of our report screen settings in the toolkit for YNAB. So the settings that affect the default YNAB reports. As always, thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure, little walkthrough tour of the toolkit for YNAB settings. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I have lots more great videos coming your way. Once you subscribe, you can click on the little bell icon. You'll get a notification when I upload a new video. And if you would be so kind, leave me a comment. Tell me what I could do to improve these videos or tell me what you got out of it. Until next time, Elizabeth out.